a, a, a just one sort of historical insight um, in, from basically the, the sort of 1400s to the 1800s, the main mode of criticizing politics was through history. This was the Machiavellian method. This is why people read Tacitus. They said the idea was to uncover the veils of politics, to see what happened behind the scenes. And in about 1701, a guy named Henri Le Comte de Boulainvilliers wrote something called the Détail de la France, which was an overview of French economic numbers. And he, for the first time, said that the mysteries of tyranny were actually the government account books, and that the, the maxims of ministers that were hidden from people in a tyrannical government were the books. And this be, then became, and what needed to be, happen was that light would be shown on these books. One of the tropes of the, very, of the Enlightenment itself was the idea of unveiling, unmasking, and putting light, and in many cases, light on account books. When the French Revolution, French Revolution happened, this was seen as one of the most important things that happened during the revolution. They were so upset about the way the monarchy had handled taxation and its own, um, and its own budget, it was completely in secret, that not only did they reveal the accounts, but they made it constitutional, but they did something else. They made a bureau de comptabilité in which they, France didn't have any accountants. So what they did is they immediately started training people within the government to start actually doing management accounting. And this was the beginning, this was actually the Girondin who started this, but the Jacobin then moved in and did it too. But they got so good at it that by after Napoleon, after the time of Napoleon, the British actually sent Thomas Bowering to uh, France to study how they created a budget. So A, this is essential. So anyone who thinks, oh, you know, we don't need to use this stuff, historically, that's literally crazy. By the way, the people who founded the United States were watching and were doing the exact same thing. It's revolutionary. But if the French could do it in the 18th century, anybody can do it now. It was such a mess in France in the 18th century, especially finances. It's actually, if you've seen the paperwork, you'd be shocked. So the message is, is that we're doing this again. This is just repetition historically. But there's actually a method. You can actually go in and look at the, how the French revolutionary government went in and built their bureau de comptabilité. And it's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant uh, um, uh, uh, project that not only looked for a central ledger, but forced every single person who worked for the government, and m many of you in politics will know about this, to not only bring their receipts in and hand them into the government, but publish every single financial move that they actually make. Some think that's inquisitorial, but after the absolutist monarchy of France and its failures and its bankruptcies uh, and the famines that, that all of this caused, I mean, famine, uprising, you know, the French Revolution, many more than 600,000 people died in a civil war in the French Revolution. Um, uh, uh, and so what happened was is they saw this as absolutely necessary, and that's why it was enshrined in all the constitutions, um, and that is why the Americans watched and tried to do the same thing. This was nation building, and this is why the British ended up doing this. Now, you can say, look, France and Britain, colonial powers, we don't like this, but the fact is, as far as individual rights, as far as economic growth, as far as human project, uh, progress, now genie factors, the countries that did this have done the best. And never tell me you can't do it culturally, because if the French in the 18th century could do it, I, kn I know them well, then it's a miracle. Okay, it's literally a miracle. So I want you to think about that historically because what we're doing here for me is something that we've done hundreds and hundreds of years ago. We have to keep doing it. It turns out, um, as Marco said yesterday, it's a rhythm that seems to happen in human culture. And we're back to that rhythm point again. In the United States, in Greece, in the EU, and in Germany, big countries, important places, and yet we're just doing the basics again. A, a little bit of humility, human beings, okay, but also ambition. All right, thank you. Let's have a good day.